Okay, welcome back. This is another episode of SP Studios, and in this episode, I will be showing you how to transform your um, XP computer, as you can see, XP, into Vista. You'll need to have to get an application for this. It's called Window Blinds. It's a very neat application, and um, it'll make your XP look almost exactly like Vista with transparent borders, glass borders, and everything like that. Note that I recommend you have at least 512 megabytes of RAM, um, a, a two, at least 2.0 gigahertz or over, and um, yeah, so let's get started. So um, I've downloaded it from the VTP site, which I'll give you a link in the sidebar as always. Here I have it, it's a WinRAR archive. Just go ahead and I'll double click on that. There, WinRAR will pop up. I'll go ahead and hit extract to my desktop. Okay, now that that's done, I will see that it has an installation. Let's see what happens when we double click that installation box. And there it is. It looks a whole new installation screen. You can check that if you like, but I'm, I like my home page as it is, so I'll keep it like that. Now I'm gonna hit next. I accept, of course. Read through all this. Hit next. Okay, it'll want you to do some stuff, and um, it'll tell you some um, updates and hot fixes and stuff, so just go ahead and hit that. Um, you should just leave it like that for now. And we'll get back to that later. So I have a wide screen. If you have a normal screen like a monitor, that's um, so you can tell if it's wide screen if um, in just right click on your desktop, hit properties, and go to settings, and then you'll notice. Yeah. So um, there's my computer specs, and I'm gonna choose normal size because I don't want it to look large. Now I'm gonna hit next, classic mode, because you want it. I would, yes, I want to perform system file. Now here's the thing, um, you can check these, I, I'd recommend you just check all of them if you want the full um, Vista experience, so yeah, next, yes I don't need that, uh, let's see what else do I need, I don't, need, I don't have media center so I'm going to uncheck that, um, let's see, and um, yeah, so that's good, and here's what you want to do, um, this will install your display picture, so like, your um, icons on the um, when you hit the start menu there's a little picture that's what it is the cursor scheme is I would install that it's the little circly thing that spins instead of the boring hourglass sound scheme is very nice I would install that too it's sound scheme so uh, Vista login is the login um, I'm gonna check that I'm gonna fix that later but just uncheck that for now um, go ahead uh, install screen savers that's good visual styles is also good um, wallpapers is very good and um, the Windows OS drive icon is it changes your hard drive to look like the one in Windows Vista so next I accept I would uncheck all of these except um, yeah but so okay so here's the deal if you don't have window blinds I would recommend you check this And um, and also check this. This is good. Um, if you don't have window blinds, also check this. But I have it, so I'm gonna uncheck those. So um, yeah, the wind flip is um, the Alt Tab Transform 3D thing. I don't really need use that a lot, so I'll just uncheck that. And um, yeah. So note that the more you check, the more your it will hog your system memory. So I only install in these two. I think V Start is the best because. It's actually um, the, the Vista start menu and has a search features and it looks exactly like it. It's amazing. Okay. Nope. Now, after you're reading all this, you can go ahead and hit transform. Okay, so um, once it's done, you should see a screen like this. And it'll ask you to restart. So we'll get, go ahead and hit finish. Okay, I've just restarted the computer, and um, you might notice some differences. First, the welcome center will pop up. Oh, welcome center. 
and um, I'll just show you your system specs and um, some other options in Windows Vista, your transformation pack. I'm just going to exit that. So now um, you also know something else. Your computer might have the Windows 95 old skin right now. We can fix that later. And also you have the Vista Start menu. Yes, so amazing. Okay, and then complete with search. Let's see, Vista. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's Vista transformation pack right up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, um, you'll notice that my computer is very different. It uh, has this really cool uh, toolbar. The local disk has changed, um, and your DVD drive has changed. So um, yeah, what's that? Now to fix the skin, um, go ahead and go to Window Blinds. This is version six of one, and you'll notice that you have a new skin called Aero Style. Go ahead and apply my changes. Okay, now that it's done, you'll notice that um, you have Vista on XP. That's weird. So um, you'll notice that the buttons shine just like on this one. Close that. And there's only one more thing to change. The wallpaper. This XP wallpaper does not look good on this, so trust me, it does not look at it. It doesn't look good, doesn't it? No. No, well, maybe if you're weird. But go ahead and go to properties. So here, um, go to desktop. Go down, and I'm going to go ahead and do image 36. Hit apply. Oh, there it is. And there's your wonderful Vista desktop. Mm -hmm. Complete with blur and uh, transparent windows. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, this has been another episode of SP Attack. And I will be uploading many more episodes soon, and, um, Please subscribe, comment, and rate. And um, remember when I told you I was going to do the logon thing? I'll do that in another episode. It'll be called How to Change Your Logon, and I'll show you the Vista one too, which is really cool. So um, stay tuned.